Sony has finally released their numbers, their sales for the PSVR. So as of February 19th, the PSVR has sold 915,000 units worldwide. The company goal was 1 million during the first six months. It launched on October 13th. I picked it up on launch day and I absolutely love the PSVR. You came over Rich, which games have you played on the PSVR? So two different times. We started with the Batman, the, the Arkham Knight. I don't know what it's called, but the Batman VR one. And then we did the Battlefront the edition for the uh, Rogue One DLC that they did that was in the VR. Completely sold. And I am, I'm one of those guys that was very skeptical, but yeah, it's it's on the radar. I got to see what else they come up, come up with. Because I don't have a PS4 right now. So that's a, an $800 investment at least. So It's expensive. Um, but yeah, I know it looked like you loved Batman. Oh, You're yeah. having a good time. And I was actually learning from you with all the Easter eggs. That well, was you haven't played the Arkham series. Yeah, I haven't played any of the Arkham series. And um, I beat Arkham. I was going for the, the Riddler. And you found some other stuff that I didn't actually find during the game. And Mo, what have you played on the PSVR? You played the London Heist. Um I was I was amazed. I didn't know that that VR went that far ahead. I just it it just captivates you, man. Like you're in there and you put the st- stupid headset thing with like an <laughs> idiot and you just go into another world. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I just I didn't think it went that far. Uh, you know, I was just I haven't played VR since the arcades where they had the stupid circular thing. And well, didn't you have the Virtual Boy? That's not VR. <laughs> Why would you say that? Just want to get it on record that you owned. I wasn't the only one that owned Virtual, Virtual Boy, though. You and nine others yeah, yeah. The, the, owned it. And I watched VR Troopers yeah. when I was a kid, so does yeah. that count? That counts. Rich that had, counts. A, had a Virtual Boy, didn't you? No, I worked at... Uh, oh, Virtual that's right, College, that's right. So we, yeah. we had a Virtual Boy like five years after it was... Had been uh, released and nobody you know bought what, them because they caused headaches. I didn't get the Virtual Boy when it first released. I got it like years after and didn't know anything. Yeah, about we it. had a discount. It was like eighteen dollars, and still nobody yeah. would buy it because yeah. they saw the stand. We had to we had to like uh, hook it up to the shelf because people would try it and they would walk away. But because of how it like kind of suctions to your face, it would tip over, and we were worried it would not that it would break, that it would fall on somebody. We get a lawsuit. So you actually had to secure it to the shelf. Excellent strategy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I bought it when it was like maybe 15 bucks, 18 bucks mm-hmm. around there. I, I bought it on like super sell. And then I resold it for like 60 bucks. So, oh, profit. So I profit off of it. I don't know if it's more money now, but I, it was a junk. It was junk to me. So Farpoint, which is the next major PSVR release on May 16th, we have an aim gun that will come with it. It was announced at E3. Last year mm-hmm. looks promising. It looks exciting. It's a first-person shoot adventure. You know, hostile alien planet. Again, we'll see if anyone gets sick. I thought I was going to get sick during Resident Evil Seven, and that was an incredible experience in the VR. That's when I realized like VR is for. And I loved it. Again, I got at launch um, until Dawn Rush of Blood. You're on a roller coaster shooting. That was incredible. I didn't originally buy it. With the, the launch, I got Batman Arkham VR in, at, at the demo disc. And then on the demo disc, I played Until Dawn. After that, I'm, like, I'm sold. So I want it to be successful. And I want it to have a future in, in gaming. So I'm glad it reached its goal. It didn't flop. Um, again, if it flopped, then you know it would be done in a year. So I'm glad it has been successful. I hope it continues to gain momentum and have a new version again with the PS5, you know, have a PSVR 2.0. Um, because Microsoft this week at GDC just announced their mixed reality headset will be coming to the Xbox family, Xbox One, Scorpio, for their reality headset come in 2018. So they're going to join in on the VR. We'll see if Nintendo with their Switch, if they join in on the VR. You can just put that on your head, have a little cam. It'll work perfectly. <laughs> It'll work perfect. So if you don't hit the button right, then you'll fall off a cliff. Yeah. But exactly. Fall off the cliff with Zelda. God damn it. You're going to have sinking issues with the headset. <laughs> so do you think VR 
has a future? Is it just a fad? Is it gonna be like the the rock band guitar hero be be good for a few years and then fall I, off I, a cliff? I did that for you, Rich. I think he it's loved his rock band. band. Yeah. He loved it. Parties at my house yeah. all the time, almost every week. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's catching wind. I mean, I think it's like word of mouth too. Like people who do have it, and I, I didn't expect much from it. And then when I heard from you, and you were like, "You, you got to come over and try." I this. was hyping it up, and we uh, it delivered. We came over. We did like a little like a little uh, gathering, a little party. You know, um, it was <laughs> drinking doesn't help. <laughs> It no, was do not get oh, drunk yeah. Yeah. Totally and not. play yeah. PSVR. It was, it was in, uh, oh no! If you're not wearing the headset, it's yeah. it's aces. It's, it's That's great because the then you start looking at it. the people. You're like, well, let's yeah, make so fun of this better fucker. When I watch yeah. you falling all over yourself, <laughs> yeah. it's awesome. Um, and I didn't expect to to um, for it to be so in depth and so uh, uh, just involve you into the whole, you know, whatever game you're playing. It's it's really it's really. Um, it amazed me. That's all I can say. It amazed me. And then I was like, damn, this thing is really good. Who knows where they're going to go with this. Uh, but judging by the cells, you know, especially with Resident Evil 7, after watching some of the gameplay on that, yeah. it was pretty intense. I was like, damn. I shit myself a few times. I would have shit myself a few times out of that yeah. fucking game. But um, I think there's a future for it. Um, I think they're just trying to figure out, like, where that future is and what, where, where to put the games at and what games to actually... Uh, pinpoint towards at at this point, um, it far it's a far point. Far but, point. Yeah, that that game looks uh, amazing. I'm not sure if that's what's gonna play until it comes out E3 again, or it's a before E3, year, May 16th. May 16th. Huh? Will you be getting it? I will be getting it. Yes, right. uh, when I get back from my honeymoon, I'll, I'll be picking up far points. I will be over. I'll need to be in my virtual reality once I'm married. Rich is gonna try it. I'll try it. Yeah, yeah it, it looks. No, cool. I was I was the biggest skeptic that met that Batman VR like you were talking. I got nauseous because the when I was first there, you start the game, you're in Wayne Manor, and I didn't want to walk because you know you're in physical space. You don't want to fall over things or run into walls or look like a dumbass, and you're very conscious of that. But I think we got to the second or third act, and I'm in the coroner's office. I'm doing stuff where I'm like, let's see if there's like anything on the side of this door, or yeah, let's look if there's anything underneath this table. And doing that, that's where I started getting the nausea, and we played a little bit more, and I was like, no, I'm going to tap out now. But that's well, you're in the cage. You didn't want to turn yeah, around because I yeah, didn't I want to turn around. Rock was coming. I was ready to puke. It was right in my face. I was like, I'm going to jump, and then I'm going to crap my pants, and then I'm going to throw up all over your dogs. So I decided to stop before we got there because I knew where we were going. But. You're going to shit and puke all over my floor. No, it's just a callback for you. I can oh. actually control my my bowels. But. Not with Resident Evil. I could not control it. But that was my concern when uh, PSVR launched. It was, you know, in small doses. Like, Until Dawn was small, London Heist, Batman Arkham. Again, that was about an hour and a half to beat it. To make a full-scale game. That's why Resident Evil 7 proved you can have a full-scale AAA game in VR. And again, because I, I wasn't as nauseous for Resident Evil. You can change the settings. It was just how real you feel. And I had to take it off and take a little break. Not just from the, the nauseous, just being scared out of my fucking mind. It, it, it does a good job of putting you in that atmosphere. It's just, it, it, Resident Evil 7 just did that so perfectly. And I think that that reboot was just so successful with it, too, that it helped people who did have the VR. They were like, of course they're going to jump on there. They're like, well, of course not. Let me get scared out of my fucking asshole. <laughs> but it was good. It was a good game. I just hope after E3, or during E3, they announce more support. Yeah. Because that was one thing that a launch. And then now it's starting to trickle. They had Star Trek uh, will be coming out. What was that? Star Trek. Yeah, there's a... Was an A or an E? Star, Star Trek. Star, Star Trek. Trek. You run for miles. <laughs> Sorry. You're, actual, you're on, actual Trekker, Trek You're on dog. Super Mario Star Trek. and Rainbow Road and you just fucking jog. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Jedi, you know? The yeah. Jedi from Star Wars? The Jedi. I just wanted to make sure that we were pronounced I'm it. playing Zelda. Fuck you both. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we're heading, right? No. Can you hand me the controller? No. Live long and go fuck yourself. Come yeah. on, finish the segment. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you both. I'm going to Zelda it up. <laughs> Star Trek. 
Thank you. There we go. <laughs> very Canadian of you, the first one, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was like, this is a new game I haven't heard of. <laughs> so I just hope on E3 they announce more support, more titles that will then support the VR so it's not just the first year dies out. But again, it's it's making the sales. I wish it all the success. I want it to succeed. Microsoft, again, we'll see. I thought it was going to be Oculus. was actually. I thought they were going to jump on board. They'll make the announcement at E3 for Scorpio, but they're making their own headsets. So we'll see Xbox and Sony go to together in the virtual reality in 2018. But very excited for VR for the future. The potential, again, put me in that setting. A paranormal activity, Lost Soul, will be coming out oh, soon. Yeah. Again, so I can shit myself some more times. So <laughs> we'll see. My living room just going to be covered of shit. Won't be here for the cleanup. Uh, that's why I have dogs. <laughs> I clean up after their shit. <laughs> It's payback's a bitch. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I love callbacks. That's why continuity is important, people. That's why. See that? See the fun you can have with it? <laughs> Again, we, we all loved VR. I, I brought up the hype train. I brought them over. They had to test it out. Again, we'll play some more VR. Glad it's going to hit a million within six months. I wish the VR nothing but the good luck and the best because I'd still want to play VR for the future, for the years to come. So please let us know what you take on your take on PSVR, how your experience has been. Do you think it's a gimmick? Do you think it's going to last? And what games should be VR compatible that are already regular experiences? Yeah, Absolutely.